I have really bad cramps and I'm cold and the last thing I want to be doing is trying on clothes but then another part of me is so excited because I've got so much things that I want to try on I just wish that I wasn't on my period hi guys welcome back to another video as you can tell by the title I went shopping misguided I have <laughs> misguided had a 50% sale and I have no self control so I had to buy things that I probably didn't need but I was excited to buy because it was just there and 50% is a lot that's a lot of money off so keep on watching if you want to see what I brought and what my thoughts on it are but actually I've forgotten what I brought because it was four days ago and I've been doing stuff so Let's both discover what I've been buying. Big cost. Look at it. Look how big it is. Look at it compared to my head. So it came. So it came this morning, and it took a lot for me not to open it immediately. But I got ready first, and I had breakfast, and I got ready to film so that we can find out together what's in here. So let's get started. I need to calm down. Oh, oh. Can't remember buying some of this. The first thing that I've pulled out is a cold shoulder knitted jumper. Oh, oh, what is that? That's the neck. That's like what kind of arm is that? It's the. It's, it must be a turtleneck. I honestly can't remember what I brought, so this is like, I've just been gifted it and I don't even know what it is. How do you hold up a cold shoulder? So that's the neck, and then obviously the shoulders are cut out and the arms, and it's not very long, but it's not cropped either. I'm guessing it's just gonna sit on my waist, and it's quite soft. I don't think I own anything this color, and I'm not tanned at the moment, so I'm not sure how everything's gonna look on me, because I'm used to having on fake tan, but we will see. First impression is it feels warm and cosy. The neck feels warm. Got a bit of shoulder action going on. So we'll see what that looks like. You'll see right now. Whereas I'm not gonna film the clip for another hour. But you'll know before I do. I don't know what I think of this. I am not used to turtlenecks being this thick and big. Like obviously I know in trend but I kind of feel like I've broken my neck and I shouldn't be moving it. I don't know is this cute? I think I'd prefer it if the turtleneck wasn't so big. Does that look alright? It's not very shapey. I'm not in love with this. The knit isn't very soft. If you're into a really thick high turtleneck then go for it. I kind of feel like I'm either going back in time to that fashion sense or I've broken my neck. I don't know, I don't know what I think of it. I don't know what this colour's doing for me at the moment. It might just be washing me out. But this is the first time ever trying cold shoulder and I've got to say it's not... It's not doing it for me. It just looks a bit like... Ugh. It's not doing it for me. I wish it was. But I don't love it. Oh, okay. So the next thing I've just pulled out is actually another piece from the Carly Bible and Misguided Collection. It's the striped slinky leggings, but the black ones. On her first launch, she only launched the navy ones, and I thought, I'm not gonna wear navy leggings, it's not worth the money. But I'll wear black leggings, and it was on sale, so I bought them in a size six. Ooh, they feel like really stretchy. How would you describe this? Like, kinda like swimming costumey feel. So they're black and they've got the stripes down the side which kind of reminds me of adidas but i don't really often wear sportswear so i'm kind of excited to see how these will look on my main concern is are they going to be see-through because i love wearing leggings but i hate it when they're see-through so i have to wear long things over the top so we'll see when i try these on if they're see-through and if i'm going to keep them because if they are see-through i won't keep them because i can buy cheaper leggings for that price. Does that make sense? I can find cheaper leggings that will do the same job as these 
if they are see-through. If they're not see-through, then that's good because I can wear them as like proper bottoms on their own. So they feel quite thick and nice quality material, so I'll see what I think when they're on. But my first impression is that I like them and we'll see if I can pull off that sporty look because I'm not a sporty person at all. At all. Oh my god. Pancake ass. <sighs> So these are the Carly Bible misguided leggings and I sized down like I did with the rest of the collection. I got a size 6 when normally I'm an 8. I should have got an 8. These are way too tight, way too short and not comfortable at all. They are thick. My pant line is showing but not the actual pants. But they completely flatten my ass. Like there is no ass. Why would anyone want that? These are definitely going back 100%. Maybe if I'd have got them in a size 8, they would have been nice. I don't know. But to me, the leggings, they are too uncomfortable. People want leggings that are comfy. And these are too, like, lycra. No, don't like them. Not at all. No, let me show you instead of just running off to take them off. There are no from me. So the next thing I've pulled out is actually what started my shopping spree and it is the petite faux leather mini skirt. I see all on Instagram and Pinterest like cute skirts and tights and jumpers and it looks so autumny but while mixing it up and not wearing trousers all the time. And I don't wear skirts, I always think because I'm quite small they kind of shrink my legs and make me look even shorter. I thought I'd try one and I thought I'd try a black leather one because that will kind of go with everything. And if I like it, I might get some more autumnal A-line colours. Autumnal colours in an A-line. Do you know what I mean? I might insert a picture of the kind of outfit I'm thinking of. But this was my starter skirt to see if I can pull off skirts in the autumn and winter and it feels really nice material obviously it's not real leather but it feels nice it's not stretchy so if this doesn't fit i'm screwed but we'll see you'll see so here is the skirt um i've kind of had to lower you so you can see the skirt but this is the skirt i actually really like it i think it looks really cute this is just the top i was wearing i haven't really paired i haven't made outfits of the pieces because in all honesty i don't feel great and you know when you're just like oh you don't want to put a cute outfit together because it's not going to look cute anyway so i thought i'd just show you the pieces as they are and what my thoughts are and my thoughts are this is really nice it fits really nicely around my waist and it's not too long not too short it looked really cute with some tight some little boots and yeah, this would be great for going out, for drinks. So I'm quite happy with that. And it's not too shiny. It's a five star for the skirt. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, a shoe bar. Right, let me tell you a story about these shoes. So I was trying to find a pair of nude boots because I wear light coloured outfits and my black boots don't always go with them and I found the perfect pair the perfect pair of boots I could have I could have I could have designed them myself that's how perfect I thought they were they're like they were everything I would have wanted in a shoe but since there was a sale my size 5 had sold out and there was only a size 7 left but I couldn't say goodbye to them so I got them in a size 7 even though I'm a size 5 so I'm going to pray that I can wear fluffy socks and they won't be too big let me just show you them oh my god <sighs> God, they're so beautiful. I really wish these were in my size and I pray that they fit me. I pray because 
look how beautiful they are so they're in a nude fake leather the heel no not the heel the toe is a bit pointed but not too much the heel is not it's thick and it's not too tall so it will give my short little body some height while still being able to wear them all day and then it's got a cute gold detail and then gold shiny metal here and I just fell in love with them so yeah I'll try them on in this try on section and you will see what I think so good luck future Megan I hope they fit you so with the shoes I have shoved I've shoved a pair of socks into the toe I've put on fluffy socks to try and make my feet a bit larger I've got so much empty space like here but I just really wanted to love them can I justify keeping shoes that don't fit like my ankle I feel like could just fall out of them they don't fit me don't know what to do If I return them though to buy my size, my size isn't going to be on sale. I feel like this has really affected me. <laughs> First world problems. Why don't you fit? <sighs> I'm really sad now. Oh. Get over it, Megan. Right, next. What is this? What did I buy? High waisted coated button detail jeans I remember so I have a pair of dungarees that are like leather coated if you watch my other videos you'll have seen them in like lookbooks and try on things and whatever and I'll insert a picture of them here but I really love the jean bit but I'm not always in the mood to wear dungarees so since they are from Misguided I decided to buy the jean version of them I'm not sure if it's going to show up can you see they're like leather coated jeans so they've got a button on the ankle they're high waisted and they've got buttons all the way up and I thought this would be a good alternative for when I'm not in the mood to wear the dungarees I just wanted some leather kind of trousers on their own oh and they also have a seam can you see they have a seam down the middle so I'm excited to try them on I've never owned leather trousers before apart from the dungarees and I really like the dungarees and I got these in a six regular so oh the waist looks tiny I'm not quite sure what to make of these trousers do they give me a pancake ass well they're definitely not comfy that you will not want to lounge around in these these are for when you go out i like the material the strips down the, the front of the leg are a bit unusual i've never had anything like that one thing that got me was the zip is down the front of the leg normally an ankle zip would be at the side of your ankle but for some reason this is straight down the front of your ankle which i personally find a little bit weird these are not buttons they're actually press studs and to press the all of them all the way up is a bit tricky because you've got to like get your hand in to press them together and then it's got a zip underneath they fit really nice they're quite they're nice and snug around the way so they kind of cinch you in they're all right if they weren't in the sale i probably would not keep them but they're all right I haven't made my mind up yet. I'm not in love with them. The material rides up. But you know when you wear jeans they have to keep pulling down your ankles? It's those kind. But yeah, they're alright. I don't love them, but I don't dislike them either. They're very tight around the waist, so they suck you in. If you want to be sucked in, get these trousers. And the buttons kind of go to the side. So it's like it's made a V, and the buttons just veer off to this side. I don't know how normal that looks. It kind of just looks like you got your trousers on. Wonky. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure what I think of these. I'll decide later. Let me know what you think. Oh, I bought so many things. What's this? A funnel neck long sleeve bodysuit. Oh yeah, I remember. I bought a turtleneck black bodysuit because I love my turtleneck burgundy. I love my white 
long sleeve bodysuit and I thought a black turtleneck is kind of a staple for any autumn and winter item and I love getting bodysuits rather than tops because when you tuck them into things it doesn't bunch up and come out of the trousers it just stays securely fitted to your body it, do, it seems quite thick, it doesn't seem like it's going to be see-through but we'll see when I try it on because you never know when you get it over your boobs and it stretches it out it will probably turn it see-through but we'll see so I've just popped on my River Island jeans to just try on all the tops and I really like it, um, the turtleneck is really thick um, I don't think you can see, oh you can see my bra Ugh. oh wow it's not that bad everyone wears a bra who cares so it's obviously a little bit see-through like i said when you put it over boobs stretches it out you can see the bra but just wear a black bra and it's not that noticeable this would be great for layering under coats and it will just go with everything it's a really good staple piece to have in your wardrobe one thing i like is that the bodysuit is a thong i hate it when bodysuits um have a wide bottom bit so you have that horrible pant line under any trousers that you decide to wear but this one's a thong fits really nicely i got a size 8 and i'm glad i got a size 8 it fits perfectly so yeah this is a thumbs up from me just a little bit disappointed that it's see-through but for i think it was really cheap so what can you do oh look at me with my colors look at me look at me branching out with different colors this is a basic roll neck rib crop knitted top. That's a long name. Oh, I don't own anything this colour. This will look really nice with a tan as well. Oh, I love this. So it's cropped. I don't know how cropped yet. It's got a turtleneck, long sleeves, and it's ribbed. And it's such a unique colour. I don't own anything like pastel blue. And I know that's typically like a summery colour, but I'm sure I can make it autumn-y somehow. This is so cute. Obviously, I wouldn't wear it with blue jeans. I'd probably wear it with black jeans or maybe white jeans. I'm not sure. It's nice and stretchy when you put it on. So the problem of getting makeup on the turtleneck isn't too bad because you can stretch it over your head. And then it's nice and form-fitting around your stomach. So it kind of shows off some curves. It'd be really nice with some black high-waisted jeans if you want to cover up your belly button a little bit but i'm actually in love with this i know it's not your traditional christmas winter colors but who says that you can't still be colorful in the winter oh, on the last item how do i get in it so this is a ribbed chunky knit jumper oh that's soft that doesn't feel knitted that feels like fur smells weird Oh, oh, that sounds hideous. I might have to wash that. Oh, this is cute. The label says, I'm super cute but also delicate, so please take care when washing and wearing me. Or you smell, so I might need to wash you. The other bit of the label says, Remove this tag and there's no returning me. I'm yours forever. Okay. So the sleeves seemed quite uh, flared. Is it called bell sleeves and the back the back is quite unique it's kind of split down the side but yeah that's cute and soft and it just really stinks so we'll see what i think when it's on oh i love this it's got little flared sleeves and it's so soft it doesn't feel knitted the one thing i can't stand is the smell it must be the material or something but i'm hoping the smell comes out when it is washed but apart from that i love it it cinches in at the waist it's a bit longer at the back and then it's got the little cut and it's so cozy this is a yes from me so that was everything for my winter misguided haul let me know what you thought about some of the pieces and if there's any videos that you'd like to see me do next don't forget to like and subscribe and i hope you enjoyed the video No. 
Hi guys! Wow! I just groped my boobs. I am in focus. I just look at it in shame about the money that I spent. <laughs>